This was a topic that I was going to talk about when it initially came out, but I wanted to give it a time to pan out, to see if it was just a sensationalized type of thing. But it's been a while now, so, you know, since mid-July, I think it was. So now I can finally talk about it since it's pretty much been set in stone on what this really is. And it's about Ellen DeGeneres. And, you know, the thing is, is I've kind of had this thing in the back of my mind in the first place. Although it wasn't particularly on this particular subject. More so about that she was a narcissist. But I guess that kind of plays into things as is anyways. So I guess I'll just include it. But I noticed that, you know, Ellen is a pretty much what you consider a narcissist. Everything that um, has to do with that show has her name on it, or her face on it, or some cartoon image of her on it. Uh, Ellen's this, Ellen's that, Ellen, 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 and the name of the show of its entirety is the Ellen DeGeneres Show. It's all circled around her, like she's the center of the fucking universe, right? And whether it's a game, it's the Ellen game this, or the Ellen that. You know, it's always Ellen-centric. It can never be about anyone else or anything else. It's always got to do with Ellen this or Ellen that. Um, and of course, when it comes to things like the charity and things like that, it's not like she's actually giving them money, it's Shutterfly, or this organization, or that organization. More or less what Ellen's doing is being that, I guess you could say, man in the middle, or woman in the middle in this case. Where she's basically given the check by the company, and then she virtue signals it to someone else, saying, here's all this money, even though it's not my money, I'm going to act like I'm doing this great favor for you, though, type of situation, when it's actually Shutterfly that should be getting the credit, not Ellen. See, this is the kind of thing that I've been kind of just keeping in the back of my mind anytime I see anything to do with Ellen or Ellen show, or it's playing in the background while I'm doing my computer stuff. I'm just like, yeah, this doesn't really well with me to be honest. So when it came out that Ellen had this toxic culture of uh, the workplace, I was like, well, 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 shocker. A narcissist with a toxic workplace when she's the one with the power and control of things? Not surprising at all. So when I read that be kind bullshit is only a on-camera facade. I was like, yeah, yeah, totally not shocked at all. That came as no fucking surprise. Everything to do with that show is literally virtue signaling and a facade. All for show, all for entertainment, all for narcissistic self-centeredness on Ellen's behalf. That's really all it is. Uh, she's greedy, she likes her money, and she wants to keep her money going, so she'll do anything to keep it rolling in. And uh, so yeah, when I, when I heard this be kind motto, whatever, was actually some bullshit and um, only was on camera, you know, the type of people that are just like... And then as soon as the cameras are shut off, then they're just like, Fuck you and go to hell! Yeah, that's basically Ellen in a nutshell. And I am completely not surprised. Not at all. And of course she thinks so highly of herself because of her narcissism and all this other crap that goes around her. Uh, the reports of people not being able to talk to or interact with her or anything unless they were on camera. Shocker again, not. You know. But all this plays into what I've been noticing and observing just by the show in general. Um, that Ellen is just a narcissist playing the act of a nice person. And uh, she doesn't actually care or give a shit. Plain and simple as that. Furthermore, in regard to the statements of, you know, charity relations, again, um, while she is the middle woman, or whatever, one of the former employees stated about how it's all for show. And quite clearly, 
that's obvious that it is, because it is. <laughs> you know, she doesn't actually care. She only does it when the cameras are on. She's only got the smile on when the camera's on. And then when the camera goes off, there goes her smile as well, you know. It's just, it's terrible that all this charity and all this money given away is all for show and nothing more. And people around the world actually fall for it. And look, I'm not going to be this person that's all like, Oh, I saw through it the entire time. No, th believe it or not, I a long time ago, back in like 2014 even, made a video about talking how cool Ellen was at one point. But then I started paying attention a lot more. And well, now we are here as we are today. So it's, it's not like it's super easy to see through unless you truly are looking through the unbiased lens and you're truly observing. You're watching her mannerisms and so on and so forth. It, and how everything seems to revolve around her and how everything has her name on it or her image on it. it she can never make it about anyone else but herself. And then it just kind of spirals down from that point, and you're just like, oh, now I notice this, and this, and that, and this, and that. And then articles like that come out, and you're like, well, shit. You know? <laughs> One thing leads to another, more or less. And to quote an article, I think it is a lot of smoke and mirrors when it comes to the show's brand, a former employee said. They pull on people's heartstrings. They do know that's going to get likes and what people are going for, which is a positive message, but that's not always reality. Furthermore, showing that the show is more or less a manipulation, feeding off of people's emotions and vulnerability. You know, you bring on some sad sap of a story, you bring them on the show, you feed off the emotions of the crowd and the audience that are watching. You know, basic manipulation tactics and sensationalizing it times a hundred. And then you make yourself out to be this big hero and this amazing person because you brought him on your show. The everyday average person who's a hero who did this or who did that. Or bringing some innocent, cute little kid on the show, making you look like this humble, amazing human being. When it's all just manipulation and sensationalizing. Yikes. Yeah. Reality. It sucks. And a lot of people will have cognitive dissonance about this too, and they'll be like, you know, because they so strongly have this emotional bond towards Ellen <sighs> that they will refuse, no matter how many facts are given, no matter how factually proven in, in any and all ways that this is, they will stand by her because they have been fully brainwashed, manipulated, and sensationalized by Ellen. And I quote, they definitely don't practice what they preach with the be kind mantra. Shocker. A third employee gives this very damning statement of when they were giving a warning for creating a GoFundMe campaign to raise money for medical costs that weren't covered by their company health insurance then sharing it on social media. Just within 24 hours, one entire day of posting this GoFundMe, they said that they were called into the department's head office and told to take it down because of concerns it might hurt the generous image. Quote, they discovered my fundraiser, then got mad at me. They were more concerned about Ellen's brand instead of helping me out, the former employee whose story was was corroborated by four other employees stated. Yup, and here is the main event, what it's all about and what it's always ever been about. Image, facade, the face that they put on. It all comes down to image, no matter how disingenuous it is, no matter how much authentici authenticity it lacks. It all comes down to image. They rather screw one of their uh, workers over instead of 
you know, making Ellen look bad, image-wise. Because greed is more important than the health care of their workers. Because they care about Ellen only, as only Ellen cares about Ellen. You know, it's this kind of perpetual cycle of Ellen, 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 Ellen. Fuck everyone else. All we care about is Ellen. As long as she makes us money and as long as she's happy because she gets money. So, Warner Brothers, Ellen, money. And there you go. Comes down to image. Image only. That's the only thing that'll ever matter. As long as they can keep it going and running, then they'll just keep on going with the show as is. It doesn't matter what happens. It's all about money. Until they start losing money. Until they start losing views. Until something major happens that affects them financially and their quote-unquote image. Nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to happen in the favor of these people that, that are wanting this change. That in some cases are needing this change. It doesn't matter. It's all about image. Even if that image is complete and total bullshit. So, luckily I was able to pull myself out of that manipulation trap that Ellen sets out for her viewers, and I was able to see it for what it really is. And not only that, but now I feel better knowing that these um, former employees and these articles and stories and so forth that are coming out exposing Ellen for who she really is. It only just makes it that much more liberating, as it were. Knowing that no matter how much she fakely presents herself as this incredible human being, in reality she's just as bad as anyone that you could ever know that's bad. So, until next time.